guys. Um, I know that we had a video today and we started talking about weight loss, weight loss journey. And I decided that I was going to fix something special for myself tonight and I thought that I would share it with you. Um, it's going to involve non bread. I was in the mood for some pizza and uh, I want to show you that sometimes you really, you can treat yourself and still maintain what you need to. So non bread, I buy it from Costco, nothing fancy. If you've been eating this at any time, you're already eating vegan. Um, this is what it looks like. I usually will put it in the oven at about 375 degrees for five minutes. Now what I do is I make sure that I measure out everything. Like we talked about earlier, we discussed getting yourself a little scale. I gotta let y'all in on something. I bought this scale back when I was watching The Biggest Loser. I've still got it all these years later. You don't have to put a lot of money in something, okay? But when I'm figuring everything out on the app, I know at all times how many calories I have. So if I want to splurge on something, I know that the rest of the day, I have to adjust my calories. Now, I am doing about 300, uh, 1,328 calories a day for me. I cannot do a lot of hard physical activity. But I do get up first thing in the morning and I walk Maggie. And then last thing at night, I walk Maggie. So she's got me trained very well to take care of her. So I'm going to start with my non bread. The whole thing's 300 calories. Now, I know as a recovering food addict and as a person who loves food, it's so much better if you fix something and you can have the whole thing. It's just a psychological thing. And for you people that struggle with losing weight, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm going to start with is something called soy curls. Um, this is a meat substitute. It is great. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. If you're worried about soy or your doctor's told you not to, indulge in it a lot, follow his directions. But the nutritional information and the scientific information on soy has changed a lot. But what we're getting at here is a protein. So I have measured out 20 grams. I think that's right. No, it's 30 grams, has 120 calories. So if you can see, they're kind of crunchy. So what you have to do is you put them in water and you hydrate them. After about eight minutes, this is what it looks like. It looks like chicken and it chews like chicken, but it's made from plants. All right, so the first thing I've done is I have measured myself out two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Please tell me you are familiar with Sweet Baby Ray's. In the South, we love us some barbecue sauce. Did you know Sweet Baby Ray's is vegan? All right, so I got my two tablespoons of barbecue sauce because I do like to use barbecue sauce as a base. I'm going to scrape it out because I do not intend to waste one little bit because once you start measuring out your food, every little bit that you get counts. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to spread it on here and two tablespoons is a really nice amount. If you've never made yourself a barbecue pizza, please trust me. It is really, really, really delicious. Now you'll notice I do not put oil on my pizza. I don't use oil in my food anymore. Um, that's part of my health journey that we're going to talk about in the next video, but I promise you, you're not going to miss it. But that's one of the reasons I toast this before I start putting things on it. So I'm going to put my barbecue sauce. So two tablespoons of barbecue sauce is going to be 70 calories. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to put on is going to be my chicken. Take it. I'm going to sprinkle it on. Just like this. Okay. Then I have got a half a cup of onions. Now, I, like I said, I don't use oil, guys. So I sauteed these in a tiny little bit of water. And what I added was red wine vinegar and Italian seasoning. I get that Italian seasoning from Costco. Nothing fancy in how I cook. So I'm putting all these onions on here. This pizza's looking good. Then... I've got a fourth of a cup of pineapple. Now, I told you I don't it, try, I try to stay away from sugar. So, this is one of those exceptions because, of course, Sweet Baby Ray's has got some sugar in the sauce. Fruit has natural sugar in it. So, there you go. All right. So, we've got that on there. Last but not least, I got a fourth of a cup of cheese. Now, this is a vegan cheese. It's a good cheese. It doesn't have casein, so you're not going to get addicted to it, all right? So a fourth of a cup, which is a good amount when you put it right here on top like this, on this little bitty thing, has got 80 calories. So we're going to recap. 
We've got the non bread, which is 300. Two tablespoons of barbecue sauce is 70. Our soy curls, our protein was 120. Fourth a cup of vegan cheese is 80. Fourth a cup of pineapple is 20. Half a cup of sauteed onions, they're not sauteed at all or anything, is only going to be 30 calories. So total on what's going to count as a whole pizza, because we get to eat this whole thing, guys, is 628 calories. You cannot tell me that you can get a takeout pizza that you're going to be able to eat very much off for 628 calories. Plus, this is going to cost you so much less. You make it right at home. Put whatever vegetables, whatever you like. But if you've never tried a barbecue-based pizza, give it a try. Let me know if you've ever had it, and let me know if you tried it and how you liked it. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 375. And then I'm going to do the best part of all, I'm going to eat it. All right, guys, I'll put the recipe in the description, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.